to attract in the love that you desire, whether it's an SP or it's platonic, whatever it is, a new person, you need to believe. Hello, angels. Welcome to Love Week, day five. I'm so excited if you made it to this day. Let's get going. What is Love Week? If you guys are not aware, Love Week is a free workshop that I'm doing here on YouTube where I give you the guidance and the activities to attract in and embody and envelop yourself with more love. Attract in more love, whether platonically, romantically, or just self-love, which is the best kind of love. It is. So yes, this is what we're here for. So if you've not seen Love Week yet, I have a playlist linked below for you. So you guys can easily find all the videos plus the bonus videos where I'm answering your questions that have been coming up quite often. And here we go. So today's is going to be quite brief. However, the impacts are... I almost said catastrophic. No, they're not catastrophic. They're the opposite. The impacts are quantum there. They're quantum. They're huge. It's very impactful. You will see movement. I'm manifesting it for you. You will see movement after watching this video. So make sure and come back and share with me because I want to know. I want to know the updates, you guys. Leave a comment and maybe I have a little treat plan for day seven. So make sure you let me know if you've been doing the homework and also what your progress has been because, again, maybe on day seven I have something planned. Even if you're watching this in the future, Maybe again, I have something planned in the future. Okay, so leave a comment. I'm watching and I'm rooting for you and I want you to succeed. So yes, okay, moving on to the topic. Like I said, this is a brief one. To attract in the love that you desire, whether it's an SP or it's platonic, whatever it is, a new person, you need to believe that you are already perfect for this person, regardless of what's coming up, regardless of what thoughts you have about yourself, regardless of your self-concept, regardless if you actually really don't like yourself and you want to improve yourself, you still need to understand and believe that right now, if you can perceive of the desire, it is yours. The universe, God, does not deliver to you what it is that you want, does not make you aware of it until you are aligned to it. What does that mean? Some people are like, oh, what is alignment? It's not that difficult. It means you're ready. It means you're perfect. It means you are enough now. It means you are deserving now. It means you are worthy now. It means all those excuses and things that you are using for a reason why you can't have this person, for example, or you can't have this thing. You can apply this also. This workshop can be applied to absolutely anything, money, anything. But the reasons and the excuses that you're saying, oh, but I don't have the perfect hair yet and I'm not ready for like, I don't have an outfit for the date and da 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 oh my god <sighs> breathe <laughs> i will breathe with you because i hear so many people doing this my clients doing this not all of you a lot of you are like on top of it but clients friends family people i've known all my life people i've just met the excuses are excruciating because i know the truth but I want you to know the truth too because I don't want to be the only one in this world that knows these things and all the people who also know these things, they seem to be in other countries and all over. So I'm here to say, if you can desire it, you're already perfect, but you need to believe that you're perfect. I cannot make you believe that you're perfect. SP cannot make you believe you're perfect. That's why when SP comes back, you know, that SP that keeps ghosting you, for example, but then they come back, it's hot and cold, it's this and that. Well, that's because you don't think you're perfect. You don't think you're worthy and deserving to have love. You're pushing it away. You're sabotaging it. Go back again, if you're still having these results going on, go back again and start over from day one until it seeps in. Sometimes what we mean by repetition is that the mind needs to build new neural pathways. So when you're walking down the street, for example, and this is leading into our activity for day five, I'm sorry that I'm being sassy in this one. I am coming from a place of love, but sometimes we need the tough love. Today is tough love day because we're already on day five, okay? So, but if you're walking down the street and you have a thought, okay, and we do this, we all do this, so don't say you don't, because I know you do, we have a thought. For example, we see our reflection in the mirror, oh my god, I look, I don't look nice, I don't look good. What if SP saw me? What if the love of my life who I've not met yet comes down the street, or, or I'm not good enough, or I need to lose weight, you know, like actually, you know, maybe I shouldn't date until I lose the pounds, or until I plump up my booty more, and I get the lifted look, or I do this, or I do that. You stop yourself. 
right then and there. That is your indicator of why this has not manifested yet. This is that little tiny voice that I spoke about in day three, I think, or actually no, extra, extra video, go watch that after this about affirmations. I will link it below. That little quiet voice, because you won't know what I'm talking about if you've not watched that. That little quiet whispering voice that has been ruling your life because you've not been made aware of it, that's it whispering. But you know what we do? We hear this thought, we have this thought, and we go, oh, yeah, I know, and then we trail off with it. It's like a toxic friend that comes in and is like, oh, no, don't do that. Come this way. Come this way. And you're like, oh, okay. No. You hear that thought, and you correct it. You tell yourself to shut up. I say this with love, but a lot of you need to tell yourself, shut up. I love you. I'm amazing, I'm incredible, I love myself. I deeply love and accept myself, but that voice, shut up. Shut up, with love, shut up. We're not talking about hating ourselves, we're not talking about beating ourselves up, no. Laugh at it, chuckle at it. It's like, a, it's like a little kid that said a silly comment and you're like, oh, that's cute, but no, honey, that's not that. When you hear that voice come in that says, this is the reason why you don't have love yet, you say, Honey, no, that's not true. Or if it's really incessant, you just tell it, shut up, shut up. And I don't even like this word, but sometimes you just need to shut yourself up. Correlates with everything in life. If you want to launch a business, you can self-sabotage your business for 10 years until you finally get so sick of yourself that you're like, shut up and just show up and do the work. Enough of all the stories. This applies to love too. This applies to everything. Bringing it back to the topic of love week though. What the activity is, is this. Now you know, okay? I hope I have your mind a little shook up and understanding, oh. <laughs> Wait, she's serious right now and you know what? I'm connecting the dots of where I'm doing that now. That's my intention. I am manifesting that right now, your little neural pathways in your brain are connecting dots. And you're realizing, wow, you know, I do always make excuses of why I don't have love yet. You know, actually, I remember just the other day, walking to the grocery store, thinking some not so nice things about myself, and thinking I had to change X, Y, Z, E, F, G, A, B, C, all of it. <laughs> in order to be worthy. No, you're already worthy. If you can desire it, you can perceive of it, it's yours. Because I get a lot of coaching clients about SP. All right, let's bring it to SP, let's do it. SP, if you've already, and I hope you did, decipher between is this ego love or is this heart love? Is this a heart want or an ego want? But even if you didn't, let's move forward. Okay, SP, you want SP. At the most, this is the love of your life. You're going to be together forever, you're going to have a beautiful life if you think you're perfect already for them because then you're not self-sabotaging. At the least, SP is an indicator. He's just, he, she, they, is just an indicator that's moving you along the way and the path to finding the real one, not your work to do. All you are to do is know that whoever this love of your life is, SP or someone you've not met or someone else or whatever. All you need to know is you're already perfect. If you're trying to attract more love from friends, more friends, a lot of you are using, you've DM'd me and you've told me that you're using this for friends. Great. You're already worthy for that, those friends. You're accepted. You are worthy. They are looking for you, waiting for you. They're so excited to meet you. You talk to yourself like that. SP can't wait to be near me. SP is here right now. If you can go to that level, that might be advanced for some of you, that's fine. Self-inquiry, check in, where am I really at? How does this feel right now? So let's go to the activity, because I said this will be quick, but here we are at 11 minutes. So your activity is just this, okay? Next time you catch yourself having so much as a thought that you are not worthy of the love that you're trying to call in, you flip it. For example, my highest match loves and ex accepts, sorry, my highest match loves and accepts every single part of me. My SP, my highest divine love, loves and accepts all of me. My SP loves and accepts all, and you say their name, you don't say SP by the way, <laughs> if you didn't know. My person loves and accepts all of me. 
You have a fight with your husband. He loves and accepts all of me. He's coming home with flowers. Sorry, honey. You literally could flip it like that. I do this all the time. That's why I'm so passionate about it. And that's why I'm here doing these videos because I could see all the misinformation that's going on out there, but I'm not focusing on that because I just want to be here to help bring you guys into a more easeful, enjoyable process of manifesting, which means you need to know about nervous system regulation, somatic therapies, regulate yourself so that you can approach manifestation not from your chaotic self state, but by your what I call being an embodying state who already has what they want because they're more calm and at ease. And I'm going to do an updated video of this, but I already have a video about this. I will leave it below. And it's about how you have to be and embody the person who has what you want. Be and embody the person who has the love. But a lot of people hear that and they're like, how? I don't know how. I've never experienced it. I understand. That's what that video is about. And I'm going to do another one that's even better. Okay? But that one's already great. So, just saying. I have more coming. However, you know, stay with me. Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Don't miss out on this. Watch all of Love Week. If you, you know, I've had some coaching clients that I could tell. They found me through Love Week, but they have not listened to all of this stuff. Because I, I could tell because of what they're saying. But we're working it out and everything's going fantastic and great anyway, regardless. We're having movement, things are coming in, and I can't wait for the testimonials to come in so that you can know that this stuff is possible and that we can do it in a way that is enjoyable and easy and effortless and really in a way that is more so just about us enjoying ourselves and loving on ourselves. So more to come on day seven on that. But this day, this activity, all I want you to do is just every time you catch yourself Self-awareness. All of this comes down to self-awareness. That's the rainbow. I knew I was going to be sassy in this one. I'm sorry, guys. But know that I'm doing it from a place of love and passion. Clearly, I want you guys to succeed. I want to be in a world where more people are happy and they have love. Because imagine how beautiful the world would be as opposed to maybe, you know, what we're seeing today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people are like, I'm in my villain era. Okay. Uh huh. So, let's go into more love. Like I said in day four, embodying that love and sending it out to all. And if you're really confused, go watch day four, watch everything, watch them all. They're all linked in a playlist. Go out there, catch yourself. Catch the thought of, oh, I'm not worthy of SP. I'm not deserving yet of SP. I'm not deserving of a new person, new love. And say, no, shut up. Or, no, silly girl. No, silly boy. My highest match adores every single inch of me. Everything about me. That thing, that wonky thing. Because here's the thing. Love, real love, is accepting and it is unconditional. I know there are people out there saying it's not. Yes, it's conditional that, yes, you should be safe with this person. This should not be toxic, absolutely. But if it's not safe and it's toxic, that's not your person. Like I already said to you guys, that's not your person. Your person is safe. They feel like home. They feel calm. It feels like stability and calm and safety and peace and alluring. It's not just being infatuated with someone. It's not just lust. It's not just, ooh, yeah, it's that and with the safety and the certainty and the respect, okay? That's love. So if it's not feeling like that, it's probably not your person. Or you're creating it, yes, to into that, which I've done. I've been there. I know. I know it, I've coached clients through it, I know. And if you ever need help, I have it below, even just my DM coaching, which a lot of you guys are really liking, where we email back and forth. You have five emails total, five responses from me. You get to ask five questions or you know, however much in each email. I don't limit you, but it's five with five and a lot of you are liking that, so I just wanna throw that out there because people are getting great results and they're saying nice things and they're enjoying it and they're getting movement. So. 
if you need any help, you can always reach out to me. I also have my Bean and Body 30 day package below and I do have a few slots open for the rest of August. So catch on to that if you'd like. And that's where we go. I give you, I give you a lot. You are going to be a brand new person irradiating. You, you're not going to be all caught up in, oh my God, SP is not picking me or whatever the thing is, okay? That's what that's for. That's an intense 30 day kind of situation but I curate it specifically for you and your lifestyle and what you could do. Okay, I am rambling on and on and I'm so sorry. I <laughs> said this would be short, but I just like talking to you guys and I want to make sure that you're getting everything that you need and the help and the support that you need. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Again, just to summarize, the activity is when you have a negative thought, say it with me, what do we do? Shut up, my highest match loves and adores me. Or girl, honey, you're being silly, I love you, but my highest match loves and adores every inch of me. All those things that I think need to change that are not good enough, that mean that I'm not worthy, that I'm not desirable, are not true for SP. They don't see it that way at all. They love and adore because that's what real love is. That's what real love does. I've had real love. I know it. I know it. I know it over and over with different situations and scenarios and people and things. Not just romantically. Romantically, yes, and more, and family and all of it. Real love is unconditional. They love you as long as you're not hurting them and being toxic and adding chaos to the life. People have to take care of themselves, yes. But they love the quirks in you. They love when your hair is a little messy. They think it's so cute. These things that you think that are not good and that make you not worthy. This was inundation of the media, of other people who didn't want the best for you, other people who don't love you, or people who just want to sell things to you. This is not true. You guys, this is not true. You're all worthy. If you love someone, or you want more love in your life, or you're calling in a certain kind of person who fits this. And like I said, I really hope that if it's a specific person, you can manifest them, but also throw it out there. Just like I said in day two, I don't remember, just throw it out there. Hey, like, or my highest match, you know, if, if there's better, because our little pea-sized brains can only know what we already know, what's already familiar but know that you're already perfect now. If you desire it, you're already perfect now. If you desire it, you're already perfect now. And drilling this into your brain. If you desire it, you're already perfect now. It's for you. Stop with everything. Stop with all the people and the things and the organizations and the sales and the marketing and this and, and everything. The consuming, constant scrolling and scrolling. It's messing with your brain. You're worthy and you're deserving. I'll make another video that really goes into why you're worthy and deserving because this is going on longer than I wanted, but I'm going to keep it because I know that whatever has come through while I do this video, even if it wasn't planned, it's because somebody needed it. So I'm leaving it and I love you guys and I will see you <laughs> in the next video. I was spicy in this one. Okay, I love you guys. I'll see you next video. Let me know that you did your homework so I can give you a star. And like I said, maybe day seven we have a treat for people who do their homework. So leave a comment. Let me know about your homework. I'll see you in the next one. I love you. Peace.